morning, good morning. I am here, still in Antalya. Uh, we have the gym this morning, so I'm just gonna get ready and head there. We already had breakfast, so, you know, just the normal buffet breakfast. I got some eggs and, and some fruit and a bit of yogurt as well, so it was a good breakfast. And then after the gym, we're heading to training, so just getting ready for that pretty much and yeah, keep you in touch with how I'm going during the day. Uh, don't know the full schedule, but that's the plan so far and, and yeah, make the most of it. Okay, so just got back from the training this morning. We were split into two groups, so the team that played most of the game yesterday was in one group. Um, I was probably supposed to be in that group because like, I played 45 minutes. The other guys that played 45 minutes and more were in that group, so yeah, I don't know really the decision there, but you know, I'm on trial, so you know, they maybe want to see me more playing and things, so. It was just a uh, normal training for me. We started with like a rondo, then we went into like small games, uh, two touches, one touch, uh, things like this. So yeah, it was it was okay. You know, I was a little bit tired to be honest with you after yesterday's game. Uh, waking up this morning, uh, still getting used to the time and that. Um, yeah, last night took me a little while to get to sleep. So this. That's all good. I'm just, I think we're free for the rest of today now, so I'm just gonna get ready, take a quick shower, get my clothes to the laundry guy, the kit man, and then head to the, like the, the eating hall, the buffet, so. That's my plans for today. I might go head down to the beach later. We'll see what's up. I'll keep uh, making some videos and see, see where I end up today. Peace. From lunch, I actually went straight down to the beach. I'm just hanging out a little bit of washing that I did before. There you go. So then I just went down to the beach and yeah, just chilled down there for a little bit because the weather's a little bit nicer today. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty tired now, so I think I'm gonna go for a little rest and chill out a little bit and yeah, get some recovery in for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I don't really have any other plans so far today, so that's it. I'm gonna go for a little rest and go for a sleep, maybe. We'll see what happens. So, check in with you guys a bit later. Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to take this, this little time that I have during um, my trial period just to kind of talk through to you guys about what it's actually like to be at a club on trial. And like just a few little pointers about yeah what to do before you go and and like what the experience is like and what your mentality should be like and etc. Um, you know of course I appreciate all the the follows and subscriptions and if you have any uh, comments or any questions that you want to ask just pop them in the the comment section below. Um, 
so the first of all, the first thing I wanted to say was that you have to know your worth. So you have to know a little bit about where you've been, how much salary you're looking for, and know your worth. Know what kind of player you are and know how much you should expect and the quality that you should expect of your time away and just everything like that. And before you even touch on going, you should be in touch with the person who's arranging you for you to go and have an idea of how long they want you to stay there on trial before you have a decision, like what the salary and conditions of the club are before you go away, so that you know how long you're staying, what you can expect for salary after, and so then you can organize things also while you're on trial for the next kind of steps forwards, for whether that works out positively or not. So those are the first two things before going away, and then just being really strong and confident with with that so for example if they say we're going to make a decision after a week you've got a game and a few trainings I do not recommend you staying longer than that and unless they've made a decision about you already and you have the paper and you have the contract so that's something that's very important that you have to say strong and confident about because I believe a club knows if they want you or not after a few trainings in a game for example and like you have to be very realistic about your position as a player in the club because the player is always seen as an inferior position when really you're not you have as much power as as the club you just got to know your worth know your quality and know your assets that you can bring and being really strong with that and it's almost yeah just having a bit of confidence and trust and belief in yourself as well because like the club has the contract that you want but then you have the the ability and the quality to bring to that club. So it's on an equal term. So you've got to stay really strong and positive about your position. And it's almost a mental game as well as showing your quality at the same time. So that's something crazy, but that's something that's that's happening. Um, so you've got to be really realistic with, with also like how they view you as a bit of an inferior to them but then you've got to you've got to balance that out because that's not the case that's not the case at all and then after that just your mentality has to be making the most of the opportunity that you're given to be in this present time on trial in a new country exploring a new place a new experience meeting new people making new friends and just really enjoying the experience and making the most of the opportunity that you're given with the training. You can learn also the styles of that country, for example, and the playing styles and maybe a bit of language here and there. That's just really important as well, just being super grateful, being like, yeah, I don't know any more words than that, just being really thankful and grateful and present of where you're being right now because it is a very good opportunity and you just got to make the most of that so it's a little bit of when you're coming into a place that's new i understand that there's nerves and there's there's a bit of like um yeah butterflies in the stomach when you're going into training and meeting the new people but if you go into like a trial with the mentality of that you know you're here to look at the club this is a uh an experience for you to go in and and experience what it's like here and you're making the decision about that almost like a relaxed approach that you're kind of yeah I suppose in a way not really caring but then having a deep level of focus if you know what I mean so that just takes all the pressure away and all the nerves because you never perform well under pressure and well not through saying never perform well under pressure but like bad pressure because there's good and bad pressure right so there's good pressure where you have a high level of focus and being like in a flow state where that feeling is no longer there but it's a part of that feeling but then there's bad pressure that just gets all away from like your computer part of your brain when you're in training and then it goes into the front and it's just all emotion and all stress and all you know all those terrible things so you got to work with that pressure and it's about your state of mind that you go into these places that you can really alter your own experience and 
ultimately have more fun with it as well. It's it's a really great experience. Like for example, now I'm in Antalya, I'm in Turkey. The weather's quite nice here. I'm training with a new team, meeting some really cool people, some really big players, and I'm just loving the experience right now. If there's anything that you guys would like to comment or like any suggestions about your experiences, I'd really love to hear them and I'll try to reply to everything I can. Chuck it in the comments below and if you want any more uh, content that I'll keep putting up, uh, give us a big like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Peace, love, Jesse. Ciao.